What is up, boys? We are back here with another Yu-Gi-Oh! opening this time. We are doing the first unboxing of Rage of the Abyss, or Rage from the Abyss, or what's the uh, Rage Against the Machine? Rage Against the Abyss today, and there's going to be an awesome, well, two giveaways, technically, but there's one of the giveaways is really cool uh, for the meta players. That's for you. Um, so make sure you guys stick out through the whole video so you can see what the details are. But let's go ahead and open up this bad boy and see what we can uh, do here because uh, there's a lot of expensive cards in here, believe it or not. And it's not the... I think these are shark. That's a shark card. It's not a shark card. It is a Max C replacement. So, yes. Let's do it, boys. We are in... We are in. All right. Oh, man. I'm kind of nervous because there is, like I said, a, a, some decent value. I don't know it off the top of my head. But, uh, yeah. oh, Mimigul Armor. This guy looks pretty cool. He reminds me of um, Nightman from uh, you, or not you, from Mega Man uh, EXE. That's awesome, dude. A Monk of the Six Samurai. Wait, what? Okay. That looks pretty dope, too. So, yeah, there's Six Samurai in here. And a, a Drake Shark. I'm, I'm might be going a little bit slow here because I don't re I, re I remember some of these. Like I know there's a some new uh, metal foe, metal not metal foes, metal morph uh, cards in here or Bandit Keith cards. And because metal morph is now an archetype, I believe it or not. And that is cool. The time engine that is so nice. I know I, I keep saying that is so cool, but that is so cool. And battle wasps as well. Oh, man, I thought they were coming out in a later pack, but that is cool. I got to look at the market for the uh, the OG Battle Wasp to see if I can sell some from, I think, Heroes Revenge. Because they don't see a lot of reference, so I'm assuming they're going to be somewhat expensive. I mean, maybe not that much, but Chaos Allure Queen. God damn, dude. Sim's going crazy. Battle Wasp Grand Partisan The Revolution. <laughs> nice, dude. All right, yeah, this set is interesting. So we got Battle Wasps, we got Shark cards, we got New Max C, we got uh, Six Samurais, Max Metal Morph. Look at that. So it seems like all of the Banded Keith cards are at least going to be lower lower rarity. So that's kind of decent. You know, maybe the collectors and nostalgia players are going to complain. But uh, nice. Surfacing, Big Jaws, a big dick motherfucker over here. I wonder if that's expensive. E all these shark cards. I don't remember if sh the shark cards were something people were aiming to play, but or I'm pretty sure the six samurai stuff didn't really land because I didn't see much hype. But I could be wrong. Token support. <laughs> Look how angry the freaking escape the goat is, man. Oh, there's a lot of stick in here. Goblin biker grand breakout. So there's more goblins. We're going goblin mode, guys. Oh, okay. I remember seeing a uh, a picture. Oh wait, what the heck is this? A new bee, a wannabe replacement. God damn, dude. There's a lot of like, I keep I keep like harping on it. This this set kind of took me by surprise. How much I actually kind of dig it. Uh, some dino dude over here. QQ, a Negan, another armor. Final bringer of the end of times. Ooh, oh boy. And then there's a uh, release brainwashing. Okay, that's cool. Is that a world premiere card? I don't remember this. Maybe it is. Your 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 opponent. I don't want to read it. I don't want to read it. This this video is gonna to be too long if I'm gooning over all of these new art and new artworks and shit, and then also reading effects. I can't do that. I can't do that. All right, uh Dom Dominus Impulse. I don't know if this is a good secret rare. I think it is. Like off the top of my head, there was a decent Dominus. Secret rare card. I just don't remember this is it. Um, but yeah, I don't know if that's a new archetype or what. It might be though. I don't see I don't see a reference to an archetype in the card text. So maybe maybe it isn't. Alright. Oh man. We got a Ultraman. Cool. Battle Wasp. Minigool armor. A oh yeah, I remember this guy. This is basically a cyber dragon support card and he looks nice he looks nice dude oh man what is this that looks like a generic card okay there's a lot of cool artwork in here i ain't gonna i ain't even gonna lie man okay okay 
Uh, let's see, Supply Dude. Okay, yeah, see, even a Lur Queen. Like, I know I said this card's for the Sims, but it looks good. Also, looks older than like eight years old. So I approve. I approve. Metal Illusionist, but it's not an illusion monster. Oh, okay, no, this is Bandit Keith. This is Bandit Keith. So he does get a. Wait, isn't the new Red Eyes. I'm pretty sure the new Red Eyes is ultra rare, so. Uh, he does get some... What the heck is this? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Konami got a picture of me during uh, my summer vacation when I was a kid. For real, for real. We got Mermail King. Mermail King. It's kind of damaged on the top, though. I don't know if you guys can see that. But, uh, okay, Mermails. That is crazy. El Magi. What is that? L Magi gets an L from me, dog. That's an L from me. I think we pulled everything from this side. So now this is going to be all super rare. So let's kind of speed it up. Uh, Sisters, Prim Primite Roar. Nice. Let's put it here, though. Zoa. That looks so badass, dude. I don't know, man. I think Bandit, the, Bandit, the new Bandit Keith stuff is definitely a lot cooler looking than any other ones. Any new archetypes in here. Az Azamina. Sylvia, okay, cool. Like, look at this artwork, bro. That is that is nice. That should be a playmat for sure, man. All right, boys, it is giveaway time. We are doing two giveaways in this video. The first one is here, tuning alt art, wing Karibo, alt art QCR, and a light of darkness dragon QCR. One of my favorites, honestly. That's why I'm giving it away. It's hard to I honestly part ways with it because it looks so bad. It's it's probably not the most expensive QCR, but it's definitely one of the coolest. Uh, so that's one of the giveaways. And then the second giveaway is SP Little Knight. Uh, Prismatic Seeker Rare, and it is dinged on the bottom, guys. I do not like giving away stuff. You can definitely see it right there. I don't like giving away stuff that is damaged, but it is more of a meta card. So you put it in a sleeve. It's good to go. You, you can, uh, you know, win tournaments or whatever. And whenever you what you kick some nerd's ass, you're going to think of me. And that's really all that matters. But anyways, to enter both giveaways, make sure you are publicly subscribed. You have an American address so I can ship the cards to. So it is America only. And uh, so publicly subscribe, like the video, and comment with the phrase Melcrammy or whatever the dude's name. Mel I'll, I'll spell it out for you guys too. Melcharmy is a lover, not a fighter. I'm bad with these giveaway codes, of course, but that's what we're going with this time around. Boys, good luck. That actually could be a pretty pretty decent play, man. I, I ain't even going to lie. All right, so we got Cursed Fire King Doom Burst. This this is interesting. I don't think this is uh, from the OCG side, so it might be a world premiere card. All right, so second side, we got Dum Dum Dominus Impulse. Can we do the Mulcreamy or whatever the hell the dude's name is here? Final bringer of the end of times. This looks kind of generic. Target one monster you control and one card your opponent controls. Destroy them. You can only activate one final. But you target. I guess it's kind of decent for like, um, I mean, cards that want to get destroyed. You bow. What is that? Uh, uh, Unchained. Yeah, stuff like that. That's kind of decent. Rescue, another rescue, huh? Rescue Hedgehog. This guy looks adorable. All the rescues look adorable. This might be my new my new personal favorite. Virtue Stream. What? What the heck is that? All right. I don't recall if there's any, like, really expensive Ultra Rares. I kind of doubt it. Usually Ultra Rares are not that uh, expensive. We got Iria, the Water Channeler Ultra Rare. Speaking of Ultra Rare, then we got another Union dude. A Union pilot this time, okay. And then, what is this? I saw this before, but it looks kind of generic level. Level 9 monsters, okay. Is there is there a good a deck with just level 9s? I don't think so. Level 10s, definitely. They got the trains, bro. They'd be running trains and she. Number C32, Shark Drake. Levis, Levias, something like that. All right. I mean, I mean, maybe, maybe the, up, the upcoming year is gonna be the wa the water year. We have the uh, the fire year this year, or I guess was it 2024? Yeah, it's like 2023, 2024 ish. Asmina debtors, sinful spoils. Got it. Gotcha. 
butterfly fish. Yeah, there's a lot of water stuff in here, actually. Holy. Okay, I see you. All right, a lot of damage cards, though. I ain't gonna lie, Konami. Another picture of me back when I was uh, a youngin. We got Giants, Mimic Wool. I don't think this is worth anything. People were hyping the Mimic Wool second wave uh, up, but I, I feel like it's not gonna be good, guys. Um... Yeah, I was just going to go with it. I don't think it's going to be good. You guys can hate me in the chat. Uh, I haven't even read it. It's just, I, I know trends, man. And, I mean, we've seen the trends. Every single every single TCG exclusive archetype, they, I mean, they, they might see some play, some representation, but they don't really win consistently. Um, yeah, it's just the way the TCG goes, man. They don't know how to uh, make good archetypes. Fiends or, or cards in general. Fiend Smith's who? Agnum Day. Agnum Day. That's interesting. Two monsters, including a light fiend monster. So it's somewhat generic, I guess. But I mean, you are there any decent light fiends? Are Dark Lords light? I feel like they are, but I might be wrong there. Or Chaos Alert Angel or whatever. Uh, we got the last ultra rare here, Flying Mary, the Wandering Ghost ship. Okay, and it's it's generic. Although zombies are, they are they fallen out of favor. I don't think I've seen any decks really running the zombies, but that's usually if it's not Warrior Dragon or Spellcaster, usually doesn't see a lot of support, right? So it, it is the way it goes. It do be like that sometimes. All right, last two packs. I, I just kind of forgot you can, you can get QCRs in here. We're not gonna, but Legendary Lord Six Samurai. Hell yeah, let's go. All right, last pack. Let's do it. We got Flipping Feline, QQ, Armored Shark, Guilt, and the last Super Rare Cursed Fire King, Doom, Doom Burst. Nice, level three. Okay, Fiend as well, actually. There's a lot of Fiend support recently. Breaking the trends of, you know, Spellcaster, Dragon Warrior, stuff like that. Awesome. All right, so this is our haul, guys. Make sure you guys do check out the giveaway. Uh, and it is two because I, I owed you guys two giveaways. And if you guys aren't aware, the better, the more views, the more engagement the videos do, the more giveaways. Catch you guys in the next one. A big thank you to the one and only channel member, Eric. I hope I keep pulling acceptable waifus that we can bond over, man.